Mario? Yes. All right. Good. Nobody's here yet. That's okay. We can, you and I can learn. Okay. Samech Amar Amar Ula. Soyer Sheshach to Kodim Matan Damishol Par. You're supposed to shecht the goat after they've given the gifts in the Kodesh Kodoshim and on the Hechal from the cow. What if they shechted the goat before they gave the gifts? Loss of Lakum, he has to start again. Tanan, learning our Mishnah, if he did, if he did uh, gift the goat before the part. You just go ahead and give the, the cow blood and then the goat blood. And Ethan, if you're correct that you that you shechted the soil out of order, it should say You should have to start in shechita. So we're talking about the gifting in the Kodesh Kodoshim already happened. And and the and the and the and the, and the, the goat was shechted at the right time. It's just that he proceeded giving the, the goat blood before the cow blood in the hechal. So there, all he has to do to correct it is after he gives the cow blood to do the, the goat blood again, allowing the goat blood to follow the cow blood. But if he shechted the goat. Uh, inappropriately too early, then in Chadam, you'd have to start again. That if the blood spilled, so there's my focus. Does he have to start again from the beginning, or can he pick off where he left off? That refers to the, the giving of the blood in the Kodesh Kodosh. That refers to the giving of the blood on the parichas in Hechel, Zechel. Mizbeach refers to the giving of the blood on the Mizbeach Azov, Kamashmo. Yechaper Elo Azoros. That's uh, pouring the blood um, on the Yisod in the Azor. A Kohanim is Kamashmo. Refers to the Kohanim. Amakol refers to Klai Yisrael. Yechaper is Elo Alavim. Hushvukul Machapar Achas. They all get the kapora the same way. Shakula miskapim b'sharmish b'sharav veres the Rav Yehuda. The kapora Yom Kippur. Some of the kapora has to do with becoming tame and doing service in the base of midrash when you're inappropriately tame. And then the sar mishdalech takes care of all your other sins. So the Rav Yehuda is saying that when we send the goat lazazel, that takes care. Of all the sins for everybody, Kohanim, Levim, Israel, and Dimrav Yehuda. Reb Shimon Noemer Kishem Shedam Masra Nasa Bifnim. The goat blood that's done in Kodesh Kodoshim, Mechapa Yisrael Mitumas Migdash Kodosha, is atonement for uh, Klai Yisrael sins by walking into the base of Migdash Tome. Kach Damapar Mechapa Lakwanim Mitumas Migdash Kodosha. The Sprinkling of the dam hapar in the Kodesh Kodosh is machaper for the tumas of Kohani. The vidu that the Kohen Gordel does on the goat that's going to be sent la zazel atones for Klai Yisrael for all other sins that have nothing to do with tuma. Kach vidu shall par machaper la Kohani b'shar avelos. The vidu that the Kohen Gordel does on the par atones for the other avelos. This refers to the giving of the blood in the Kodesh Kodosh. That's the gifting of the blood on the Mizbech Azov in the Hechel. They each have their own Kapor. He's supposed to give seven times in the Kodesh Kodosh. Let's say he gifted three times and the blood spilled. Yovi he has to shecht a new animal and come in, he has to start again from, from, from sprinkling number one. Well, he has a no. 
You have to shecht a new, a new animal, but when you bring the blood, if he left off on sprinkling number three, he starts four, five, six, seven. He doesn't have to go from the beginning. He finished gifting in the Kodesh Kadoshim and Ishbach Adam, and the blood spilled. He has to shecht another animal and bring the blood. He has to start from one, one through seven, on the parochers. Let's say he gave three gifts on the parochas. He has to shech the new animal, take the blood, and start from the beginning. You can start from number four. You have to start from number one. He finished Kodesh Kodoshim, he finished the parochas. He's now supposed to gift four times on the corners of the Mizbech Azov and seven times on the top, but the blood spilled. So he has to bring another animal here. And he starts from the beginning gifting on the Mizbech. If he started gifting on the Mizbech and it spilled, he has to shecht again. And he has to uh, start again from the beginning. But Rabbi Yezra, Rabbi Shimon Oimer, if he gifted four times already, he just starts from where he left off. What about the case where he gave all the blood in the Kodesh Kodoshim and in the Heichal and on the Mizbech Azov and then he spilled it? All you have left is to pour on the Yisod of any blood remaining. However, you don't have to go bring another animal. It's not ma'akib if you don't pour remaining blood. Both of these tanoim bring their proof from the same pasuk. It says midam chatas akipurim achas pashana. Rameir sarav chatas achas amart luchavlosh te chatas. You have to give all the blood from one animal. You can't give three of the giftings from one animal and four of the giftings from the other animal to make up seven. And all the kapara from the blood has to be a chatas achas. That's why we have to start from the beginning. They just want you to give the proper amount of sprinklings. And if you give seven sprinklings, even if it comes from two animals, it's not a problem. Tanya Marevi. Li chilek Rav Yaakov Belugin. When a mitzora comes to the base of Migdash to become purified, they, they put oil on his head and on his, on his big thumb and on his big toe. So Rebbe had a Masora that Rabbi Yaakov felt that there was the same machlokas between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Shem Rabbi Yehuda regarding the Mitzor. Frankly, more below. Is that so? I'll show you that they did argue. There's some shaman that has to be poured, that has to be sprinkled in on the parochas. So let's say they gave some of it and the, and the oil spilled. Start again from the beginning. He can bring the new oil and start from where he left off. He finished uh, sprinkling towards the parochas and the, and the oil spilled. He starts by putting the application of oil on the big thumb and the big toe of the mitzvah. Let's say he gave some of the gifts. Nasa makes us matons babonis finish bachalog and it's spilled. It's same like the Yom Kippur. He also has to start from the beginning. But he doesn't have to start from the beginning. He starts from where he left off. He gave it on the toe and on his thumbs already. And then it spilled. So you don't have to bring new oil to put on his head. It's not It's not one of the things that has to be done. 
So how can you tell me that, that Rav Yaakov said there's no machlokes belugin? There is a machlokes belugin. Amos, you have to amend and say Lisha and Rabbi belugin. Rav Yaakov, Rav Yaakov learned the same machlokes regarding the mitzvah. Omar Mar, we said in this parasha, we said putting the shemen on the head is not a problem if he doesn't do it. My time, it says the extra shemen has to be poured on his head. So when you when you left when you if you have flour left over from a mincha. It is ma'ake. By the mitzora, it says twice, yeser b'shemen ashal kafa koin, and van noiser b'shemen. So the double language tells me that it's not ma'ake. The mitzora has to bring a korban asham. Let's say he shechted it and he had. Had in mind a different core, but not an ashram like a shlami. We're back to the same machlokes, whether or not Rameir do Amar Yavi Achav Yaska Bitchila Rameir who said by Yom Kippur that if the blood spilled, you have to start from the beginning. Achanami Yavi Achav Yishchot here as well. You have to bring a new ashram and shecht again with the right kavana. Ulo Allah's Rav Shem and Shemim Malkam Shaposak Mishamu Maschil. Rab Shimon and Rab Leazar, who says by Yom Kippur that you don't have to start from the beginning. Where he left off, he can go. So, hacha ein lo takona. So here, you, are, you have to, you only have the one blood. You can't do it from another korban. And therefore, there's no takona in terms of his, him getting kapar. So, maskev rev chizda v'ha'osok seed. Even for Rav Meir, it says that asham has to be used. Kasha, it's a kasha and Rav Meir as well. And Tanya Kavosid Rav Yerichdod. Asher Mitzor Shashachtu Shalol Yishmo. You have an Asher Mitzor that was shechted without the proper Kavana. O Shalol Nosu Midam Lagabe Bohemrez. Or the blood was not given on the big toe and the big thumb. Arez the Ol Gabe Mizbech with Tonusam. It's still kosher. You can put on the Mizbeach. It has, you bring the wine libations. It's Rach Hashem Achla He has to bring another Asher to be Machsher himself. Rav Chizda explains, might sarich sarich ve'lo takona. He has to do it, but he can't do it because uh, you have to bring from one korban. V'tani tonat sarich ve'lo takona. Is there an example where it says you have to do it and there's no way to do it? Yin. I'll give you another example. Batanya. Nazir memoira. We have a din that at the end of the nazir's thirty days, he has to shave his head. Now, what if you have a bald nazir? So Beishamai Armi Mitzore Chavaras Tar. You still have to take a razor and pass it over his head, even though he has no hair. Beisel Armi Ain't Sore Chavaras Tar. You don't have to do it because he doesn't have hair. And Rav Avina explained. Omer Rav Avina Kishu Armi Beishamai Tzore. He means Tzore Chvein L'Takona since he doesn't have any hair, doesn't accomplish anything, and he has to remain a, ta- a nazir for the rest of his life. However, Pligi the Rav Pedas. That shita is in contradistinction to Rav Pedos. Dom Rav Pedos, Beishamai Rav Lezer Amud over Echa. Beishamai Rav Lezer said the same thing. Beishamai Hadamora, that a bald nazi has to take a razor, pass it over its head to cut his hair. He has no hair, so he has to do it. So there's no takana. Rav Lezer to Tanya, ain't no bow and yada bow and regel. Let's say the mitzora has had an amputation of his thumb and his big toe. So since the Torah says that the Mitzorah has to have oil sprinkled on his big toe and big and thumb, and he doesn't have it, then he remains a top tummy for the rest of his life. Rabbi Lazar, I mean, nice Lama Koim of the say, you put it on the on the stump, you put it where the toe should be, and that's okay. And Rabbi Shimon, I mean, nothing else shall small yatsa. If he has a left toe or left big thumb, you put it there, and that will be the tarian. Ton Rabbanon, the lokach midam ha'asham. The, you have to take from the blood of the ashram, and on the mitzvah, you put it on the mitzvah's ear. 
his right ear. So he does it with his hand. So I might think you have to use a cleat, Tamad Lama Venasan. Man is seen about special koyen. The has to be given by the body of the coin. Aflakich about special coin. When he when he takes the blood, he also does it with his hand. Doesn't have to do with a kli. Now when he sprinkles on the mizbeach, yachalav is vechkin tabad lama kichatas haashamu. That sprinkling on the mizbeach has to be done in a kli. Ma chatas do in a kli? Afosham ton kli. Nimtzis ata oimir. Asher mitzur shnei kohanim mekabel mizdamo. Asher mitzur two kohanim could be mekabel the blood. Echa beyad, who then puts it on the ear of the mitzora. The echa bekli who throws it on his behalf. Right? Zeh shekimu bekli boloitz on his behalf. Zeh shekimu liyad boloitz on mitzora. And that's how the processing of the mitzora's purification proceeds. Tanan asam the kulon mitamim begodim. Now. We said before that if you offered blood in the Kodesh Kodoshim seven times, and then the blood spilled, you have to take a new par, shecht it, bring blood, and start from where you left off. Now, what are you doing with all these other animals that you've now shechted? They're metame begodim. If, they, if you touch them, you become tame. You have to burn them like the poor man like the inside chatos. No, ain't metame begodim. They do not be metame your begodim by doing shkita. The ain't nistrafna beisadesha. Ela haachron. Only the last one, where the kapora was completed with, hoil the gomer bar kapora. So boy, me rav me rav nachman. Remember each time, for example, if you have a Kodesh Kodosh, if you if you dropped, if you drop the saw-ear blood, right? Mm-hmm. And you have to go shecht another saw ear. It's not just matter, it's not just a matter of shechting another goat. You have to bring two goats and do a yes. lottery, and you have to choose one la shem. So you already chose one la zazel, but now you're bringing another pair. And you choose one la shem, and now you have an extra one la zaza. What do you do with that? How many la zaza, How many seirim can you send la zaza? You can't send a whole herd. You, you only send one. So what do you do with the others? Amr lo the chiedro sorry, gonna burn. You're gonna burn all of them. So this is for tomorrow. Um, we will learn tomorrow at nine fifteen.